Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve. So, here we are, with our garland and our shovel, Chester here and the tree guard off in the distance, and today what we're going to talk about is the next steps after you've gotten a basic setup in place. So for now, we have a couple of things to be worrying about. So, the first thing is, soon we're going to get attacked by hounds. We don't usually know what day it is, but it's going to be at day 10 or just before it. So we need to be careful about that. Uh, so in, the first thing that we need to do is figure out how to get ready for combat. The second thing we're going to need to do is to get ready for winter. Winter is coming, and it's going to come around day 20. However, I've actually heard of them coming as soon as day 10 before, and even a little bit before. So we need to be careful about that, and we need to make sure that we're ready for winter when it does come. Finally, what we need to do is we need to set up a self-sustaining area. You can already see, I've picked a lot of the grass in this area, and most of the recipes and things that we're going to need in our opening days are going to involve grass, and saplings, and rocks and trees. And rocks aren't really self-sustainable, but a lot of the other things that we have are. And so what we need to do is... Oh, tree guard's up again. That's cool. Uh, what we need to do is we need to get... Um, a number of self-sustainable resources, like the grass and everything else, dig them up and bring them back to our camp uh, so that we can build a, uh, a farm for them, essentially, as well as build actual farms for food, which is another thing that we need to sustain. So up here is a grassland. Um, our first step here is going to be to try and protect ourselves. Now what do we need to do that? Well, what we want to ideally make, now we don't actually have, uh, yes we do, here we go. Ideally what we want is a spear which is just going to need some grass for that rope, and we already have the other materials. And then we're also going to want a log suit, which is going to need a bunch of trees and some rope. These are the basic tools you need to defend yourself against things like hounds. So, as I continue talking here about other stuff, I'm going to start chopping some trees down. Now I'm wary about tree guards now, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. It's more likely that they spawn during dusk anyway. Now, uh, I did not think this through very well and have a lot of things here. I'm going to put these ashes on the ground. Actually, no, I'm not. If you put ashes on the ground, they do tend to blow away on you, so I'm going to put this niter there. Okay. So, um, I'm going to get enough logs for a log suit, but additionally I'm actually going to get a couple of more as well, because we're going to need the boards to make probably some chests, which will dramatically increase the amount of space we have to store things. Now. Uh, so that's preparing for combat. The next thing we're going to need to do is prepare for winter. Now, how do we do that? Well, when winter comes, you start to take damage from freezing if you are away from a fire for too long. And so, in order to fix that, you need to get warm clothes. Now, Wilson actually has an advantage about this already, because Wilson, as you can see, grows a majestic beard over time. Now, what that means, functionally, is that he needs less winter clothing than anyone else, just because he has... Oh, there goes my axe. Uh, just because he actually has some ready-made insulation already. Now, normally, if I wasn't playing as Wilson, and even if I am, in order to get winter materials, I mostly need two things. I'm going to need some beefalo wool, probably, uh, to make a beefalo, or to make a winter hat, rather. And I also need some spider silk. Spider silk essentially is required for any sort of dress item that's any kind of advanced. Now, in order to get spider silk, I need to kill spiders, so we need to find some of them. That's going to be the next objective. Now, as for actually preparing and setting some sustainability up, essentially all I'm going to need for that is... Oh, very good. I've got a lot of logs now. That's great. Um, as far as sustainability is concerned... Oh, I'm, you know, I'm carrying around Chester. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to source some stuff in him. He can take my rocks, he can take my ashes, he can take my gold. That's fine. Okay. Now, that's enough logs for now. Now, in order for sustainability, all we need, as you may have seen, is uh, we just need to take out the shovel and actually dig some stuff up. So let's take this grass, for instance, and we'll dig up the grass and take the tufts back home. Uh, once we do that, we can help them to grow, and uh, we'll have a ready supply of it at home. Now, here we have a pig village. Now, uh, the other thing, by the way, that you want to be doing... Uh, right now, in the early days, before you get attacked, before winter comes, you want to be exploring a lot. 
So we should go back and explore down here, but I'm also up here now, so we're going to have a look around this place too. Um, exploring is key, because if you want to find Maxwell's door and get into adventure mode, or uh, just find the wooden things and go into a new world, you're going to need to actually do some exploring. Now these are pigs, and pigs are fine. Uh, you can get close to them, and they're mostly happy. You can give them meat, and they will uh, be your friends, and they'll follow you around, and you can use them to fight things. The other thing is, if you give them vegetables like this, they can substitute for beefaloes, because then they produce manure. Um, the other thing is that pig villages tend to have a lot of things like this lying around, and they don't usually get angry at you if you pick them up. So, I'm going to steal all of their berry bushes and take them back to my place. Oh, and this is perfect. I see some spiders up here. Now, this is great for a couple of reasons. There's a spider, uh, spider den up in the top corner here near a pig village. So what I can do, actually, is incite the rage of the spiders. Uh, once, well, I guess we'll do that tomorrow. I can get the rage of the spiders going, and then I can bring them back to the pig village. Oh, here we go, we've got a friend. Now, spiders are actually pretty easy to kill. Let me see here. Especially if they're one on your own, you can do this thing called stun locking. And what that means is, if you keep hitting them like this, they can't actually fight you back. So, spiders are very easy on their own. Some enemies can't be stun locked, and what that means is that you have to kite them. Uh, when we have to deal with that, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Now, I'm just gonna finish off this here, and then I'm gonna head back to camp. Let's see here. Now we have lots of berries, and we have lots of berry bushes as well. Oh, there's another spider. Might as well get him while we can. Oops. Come on. There we go. You see, he can't fight back. Ah, perfect. Monster meat. Chester can have that. Now, it's time to get home uh, before night comes. I'm going to run along this road, but I think I have enough for a fire if I need it. I have enough for a torch. Uh, that's not ideal, but it can uh, suffice in a, uh, in a tight space. Now, let's see here. I am actually almost home, so this isn't so bad. Oh no, and I'm actually taking starving damage. Okay, so let me uh, get back home here. I'll light the fire uh, very quickly. I think that was starting to turn. Oh yes, yes, because I was eating stale carrots. That's no good. Now where are we here? Yep, almost home. Now, let's throw some wood on the fire. Got that in Chester. Like so. Add some fuel. Actually, we'll get the rest of it from Chester, too. Um, we'll throw our stale carrots in there. Just Actually, we'll eat the stale carrots tonight. We'll put the graft tufts in there. Don't want to waste too many of those. Okay, add some fuel. And there we go. So now, like I did before, the same trick, right? We have stale carrots. I'm going to cook them up over a fire. And notice they're not stale anymore. So they're just as good as they ever were. I'm going to cook all of these while I can. And... Uh, and will fix my hunger problem. Now once again, I've been very bad at uh, maintaining my hunger. I have lots of food, you'll notice. I've got all these carrots and I've got lots of uh, berries now, but I just have been very bad about paying attention. And that can happen sometime. Um, and like it said there, when my screen got all red and started hurting, that means that I was actually taking damage because I was starving. And there we go, now we're back up to full. Our health has been repaired quite a bit as well, and uh, we're on the road to doing quite well here now. So now I'm actually going to make, uh, if I can, let's make some rope. Now how much grass do I have? I think I do have enough. Let's make some rope. I have enough for one. Now, uh, we'll put these carrots in Chester. And now we're going to make ourselves a spear. There we go. Now we have enough uh, so if we want to go and we want to fight things, we can. Okay, so now I'm going to run back up to that spider den and take it out. First I'm going to plant these berries, though, uh, just to get them off of my inventory. Like so. Now, ultimately, this is not the greatest place for these berries. Um, probably what we want to do is put them near a lightning rod, because as soon as it starts to rain, uh, there's a chance that lightning will actually strike these things, 
and set them all on fire. The other thing is that any type of plants should be protected because if not, uh, red hounds or any number of accidents or whatever can actually set them all on fire and then you lose everything you have. So we want to avoid that, but for right now uh, I just want them out of my inventory and this will do just fine. So we're going to go back up to those spiders now. Now it was pointed out in the comments on my last video, quite rightly, though crap man, he's just hanging out. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, <laughs> Um, now, uh, it was pointed out in the comments in my last video that I brought some grass back to the camp, and uh, I said that would be fine, they'll grow there. In actual fact, they won't right away. On their own, uh, nothing grows when you plant it back there. You need to fertilize it. And you can do that with either manure or rot, which is what you get when uh, flowers or food uh, starts to go bad and uh, goes all the way stale. Now, here's the spider den. Now this is a level 1 spider den. See, it's only got the one little egg-shaped layer on it. These are relatively safe to kill, and you can do it on your own. When you step on them, spiders will come out to investigate. Now, there are a couple that have followed me. Now, I could kill these on my own pretty effectively, but I'm going to bring them back to the pigs just to show you guys. If there were more of them, this would happen. Now the pigs get in the fight with them. Now you can help them out, as I will here. And there we go, there's some silk. The pigs are doing a bad job. There we go. And I got some spider glands. So there we go. That spider den is cleaned out now, and I've got some monster meat to spare as well. So I'm going to go up and start attacking it. Now I've killed all of the spiders that came out, so there's no problem here. It'll get destroyed, and what I'll get is a bunch of silk. Now ideally, you're probably going to want about... Now, where? how did I orient the map there? Right. You're probably going to want about 10 or more silk uh, to make enough clothes for the winter, but that's a good start. How many do I actually have? Three, I think. Now, this is excellent. This is a great find for two reasons. I actually just cut the amount of silk I need in half. So this is a touchstone, and we're going to activate it. What this does is, if I die for whatever reason, now I will get resurrected at this touchstone. This was a very lucky find. And so now as well, um, if I had a hammer, which we'll talk about in a later episode, I can break these pig heads and get pig skin, which I can use to make a football helmet without actually killing any pigs. So this is a great find. This is a dead guy, and he gave me a breezy vest. Now this is brilliant. A breezy vest allows me to... Um, a breezy vest is an item that I would normally have wanted to craft myself for the winter, and what you need for it is a qualifant trunk and... Uh, and a couple of other things. Uh, mostly silk, if I'm not mistaken. Um, now, a breezy vest is quite warm, and it really does help your, uh, your first journey in the winter. Now, here we go. Lots of trees. I'm just doing a little bit of exploration here to see if we can't find some more spiders. I don't think there are any around here, though. Soon I'll head back to camp. There is a gravestone, though. Ah, look. Here we go. Now, this is a relatively large den, and the pigs are fighting. So let's give them a hand. Now, I'm just hitting spacebar for context here. Now, you got to watch this yellow spider up here. Yellow spiders are harder to stun lock, and also, they, um, they can jump at you and are much, much more dangerous. Now, they helped me to clear out most of that den. Let's see what comes out when I hit it. Nothing. So we're going to clear this den out, too. Now, Wilson just said, did you hear that? What that means is, hounds are about to attack us. This is what I was worried about earlier. So let's run home. Actually, better idea. Let's stick around the safety of a pig village. I'm going to run in this general area. Now, hounds are not very hard to kill on their own. Especially when there's only a few of them, you can kite them. And it isn't such a bad thing. But the key in Don't Starve is, you have to survive. And so while it is easy to kite them yourself, if you can get the pigs to help you out, then all the better. It's more likely that you will survive that way, and it's more likely you'll take less damage. So I'm going to hightail it back to those pigs, because there are more of them. And you hear them roaring in the background. Usually you get a couple of prompts with Wilson saying, did you hear that, before they actually do hit. 
They'll be here soon, though. Now, of course, the pigs are in their houses. That's okay. We're gonna run back to our camp. They'll probably end up hitting us on the way. There we go. So. What I'm doing right now... Oop, I messed up there. What I'm doing right now is kiting. And so that involves waiting for them to attack, and then hitting them. For hounds, you wait for them to attack once, and then you hit them again. You hit them twice. Now. One attack. Whoops, I missed. One. Hit twice. And then you go away. Just like that. Now that was a little bit sloppy, because I was sort of talking and wasn't uh, ready for it. But that's how you go about it. It's not so bad. Now, uh, the other thing you'll notice happened there is Chester did some tanking for me. Um, Chester is a very good tank. Oh, I can't pick up the Snyder any, uh, anyway. So, um, Chester is a very good tank. Sometimes a dog will go and attack him, and Chester has a lot of health, so he'll sit there and absorb it, and it won't be a problem. And it allows you to deal with one dog at a time. So, I think that, uh, today was a very successful, and to be fair, this was an extremely lucky playthrough. Uh, now I'm going to put uh, a grass tuft on the fire if I can find one. I think Chester has them. There we go. Gonna add some fuel. There it is. I'm going to plant the other ones. Now, uh, just a note before we take off here. I will have to fertilize these later. Um, I got a rabbit, so let's check this trap. Now, I have too much stuff in my inventory, and so the trap just dropped back out in the world. Um, let me see here. What can I drop for the moment? Inventory space is always an issue here, uh, in this game. Now, let's see. I think that what I'll do is I'll put the monster meat in Chester, because I think there's uh, plenty there. Yep, good. So, uh, let's see. Now, this rabbit I can cook up. Uh, and so what you do once you catch them is you murder them, like so. And then you cook them on a fire, just like that. Uh, now, a cooked morsel, you can do better things with a crock pot, and we'll build that next episode, uh, if we can. But for right now, um, let's have a look at what we did today, really quickly. So, we went and we killed a bunch of spider dens to get silk. We needed that silk in order to prepare ourselves for the winter. But, even better, we actually got a breezy vest from a dead guy on the ground, essentially. And that will save us a lot of our silk uh, cost for the winter. Now, um... The other thing we did was we got a bunch of berry bushes from pigs. We learned how to take, uh, involve the pigs in your combat with spiders, and how to take out spider dens. And we also learned how to kite hounds, although, I must say, I did a messy job of it at first. So, next time, we'll continue our expansion. We will uh, prepare a little bit more for survivability, we'll prepare more for winter, and we'll get ourselves a proper suit of log armor, as well as uh, hopefully get some farms set up as well. So, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.